ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang intindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala. Nandito ako para tulungan ka. Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting with me, Teacher Joyce. Lesson 20 Finding the greatest common factor or GCF using continuous division. Objective. After going through this lesson, the learners are expected to solve the greatest common factor of two numbers using continuous division. Let's begin with 25 and 75. Commonly, we solve the greatest common factor of a set of number using traditional method or the listing method. In this method, we we'll list down all factors of number. For example, we have 25. To list down the factors of 25, we think of numbers that when we multiply, the answer is 25. So we have 1 times 25 and 5 times 5. If we arrange the factors from the least to the greatest, we can say that the factors of 25 are 1, 5, and 25. Then, we will also list down the factors of 75. Again, think of a number that when you multiply, the answer is 75. So we have 1 times 75, 3 times 25, 5 times 15. And then we arrange the factors from least to the greatest. So the factors of 75 are 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. Now we need to determine the common factors of 25 and 75. These are factors that they both have. So they have 1, 5, and 25. We are looking for the greatest common factors. And the biggest number is 25. So therefore, the GCF of 25 and 75 is 25. As you can see, it took us a while before we list down all the factors. But there is also another way we can solve GCF. And that is using continuous division. So again, let's try to solve the GCF of 75 and 25 using the continuous division. To get the greatest common factor, step 1, we need to list down at least five prime numbers these prime numbers will serve as the basis for our divisor so we have two three five seven and eleven next is determine which prime numbers we will use so is two divisible by 25 and 75 so the answer is no next is three divisible by 25 and 75 Again, the answer is no. How about 5? Is it divisible by 25 and 75? The answer is yes. We can now evenly divide 5 to the two numbers without remainder. So for step 2, divide the given number to a prime number where it is divisible. Remember that our divisor should always be a prime number. So 5 divided by 25 is 5, then 5 divided by 75 is 15. Step 3, continuously divide the given number so the prime number where it is divisible until all numbers have no common factors except 1. Then again, we have to divide 5 and 15. So both of the numbers are divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And then 5 divided by 15 is 3. As you can see, the factor of 1 is 1. And then the factors of 3 is 1 and 3. Therefore, the common factors 
is only one so we can now stop dividing or you can also check if there is any prime number they are divisible so one and three is not divisible by two three is not divisible by one it is only divisible by three a prime number should be divisible in both numbers then 5 7 and 11 is not divisible because they are bigger than the number so meaning we can now stop dividing since there are no common factors to find the gcf copy the divisor which is 5 and 5 and then solve it 5 times 5 is 25 therefore the gcf is 25 now let's try to solve using this given number so we have 2 times 3 2 times 12 and 3 times 10. first we have to solve for the number so 2 times 3 is equals to 6 2 times 12 is 24 and 3 times 10 is 30. then we cannot proceed to step one so we have to list down at least five prime numbers these prime numbers will serve as the basis for our divisor. So we have 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Now we have to determine which prime numbers we will use. So is 2 divisible by 6, 24, and 30? The answer is yes. So we can evenly divide 2 to the 3 numbers without remainder. So step two, divide the given number to a prime number where it is divisible. Remember that our divisor should always be a prime number. So two divided by six is three. Two divided by 24 is 12. And two divided by 30 is 15. Step three, continuously divide the given number to so the prime number where it is divisible until all numbers have no common factors except for 1. This time, 3, 12, and 15 is not divisible by 2. Instead, they are divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 12 is 4. 3 divided by 15 is 5. If you list down all the factors of 1, 4, and 5, the only common factors is 1. Therefore, we can now stop dividing. So to find the GCF, copy the divisor which is 2 times 3. So the GCF of 6, 24, and 30 is 6. Another example is 3 to the third power. 45 and 6 times 9 so there is an exponential number which is 3 to the power of 3 and that is equals to 3 times 3 times 3 and if we solve this that is 27 so we can just copy 45 and then 6 times 9 is 54 the numbers that we need to solve are 27 45 and 54 then we can now proceed to step one we have to list down at least five prime numbers the prime numbers will serve as the basis for our divisor so we have two three five seven and eleven determine which prime numbers we will use so is two divisible by 27 45 and 54 the answer is no is three divisible by 27 45 and 54 the answer is yes we can now evenly divide 3 to the 3 numbers without remainder. Step 2, divide the given number to a prime number where it is divisible. Remember that our divisor should always be a prime number. So 3 divided by 27 is 9. 3 divided by 45 is 15. 3 divided by 54 is 18. Step 3, continuously divide the given number to the prime number where it is divisible until all the numbers have no common factor except for 1. So this time we have 9, 15, and 18. And those numbers are still divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 9 is 3. 3 divided by 15 is 5 and 3 divided by 18 is 6 
if you list down all the factors of 3, 5, and 6, the only common factor is 1. Therefore, we can now stop dividing. So, therefore, let's just copy the divisor, which is 3 times 3. And then the GCF of 27, 45, and 54 is 9. Now, get a pen and paper to check your mastery in 5 minutes. Find the GCF of each number using the continuous division. Your timer starts now.
Time's up! Let's check your work! Number 1 GCF of 21 and 56 is 7 Number 2 The GCF of 12 and 16 is 4 Number 3 The GCF of 25, 20, and 55 is 5 Number 4, the GCF of 27, 72, and 36 is 9. And number 5, the GCF of 27 and 36 is 9. Did you get the correct answer? Excellent! That's all for today. If you learn from this video, don't forget to enroll for my channel by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, Ang mahirap na math problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Bye-bye and have a great day!